So have you ever heard of Hubble contacts? If you have, it's probably because you've seen a social media advertisement on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook selling their Hubble contacts for just a dollar. Yeah, that's right. 30 contacts for just a dollar. So is trying Hubble contacts worth it? Well, I got some, tried them out, and there's a few things I think you should know about before you try them out yourself. So join me in my Hubble contacts review as we take a closer look. Hey, what's up there? This is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health channel, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, finding the best vision products. If you're new to the channel, you know, like learning about the eyes, seeing your best, then consider hitting the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Now, today we're talking all about Hubble contact lenses. Now, again, if you've never heard of Hubble contacts, they are a direct to consumer marketing company that sells online contact lenses. And again, they're just a dollar, or at least so it starts. In fact, if you check that out, it's a dollar for about 30 contacts, so about a two week supply. But afterwards, suddenly the price goes up to about $39 a month and they just continually send you out a month subscription supply. Now, before you go ahead and order anything up yourself, let me walk you through my experience. We'll go through the ordering experience, ordering the lenses. We'll go through wearing the contact lenses and just how it felt to have them on my eye. And then we'll go over the technology of the lenses as well as the price. Starting off with the ordering experience from Hubble is pretty simple. You just go to their website or you can see one of their advertisements on your social media. Uh, at the top, it'll basically say, hey, get a contacts for just a dollar. You walk through it, enter your prescription, and hopefully they'll send you the lenses. Now, first off, one thing I want to comment on, being an eye care provider and other eye doctors, we're not stupid to the fact that a lot of people try to order their contacts online without a valid prescription. A lot of people will try to bypass this and just put in any number and hope that they're able to get them. Now, contact lens companies are supposed to verify your prescription by contacting your eye care provider or you need to supply a copy of your valid prescription. And we know that there's online companies that failed to validate contact lens prescriptions. So I tried it out. My individual contact lens prescription is a minus 550 in both eyes, and I wear the Dailies Total One by Elcon. So what I did is on their website, I entered in minus 5.25, just slightly off, trying to see if they would validate my prescription or if they're just gonna send me lenses. And Hubble did a good thing. They validated my prescription by contacting our clinic and found that no, my prescription was not correct and they would not send me the contacts. I even got an email saying, hey, sorry, you need to contact your uh, eye care clinic and validate your prescription, then reorder the lenses. So Hubble lenses at least wins a good point there. But the next problem was that then I entered my real prescription, the next powers, the minus 550s. But this brings up another issue where the contact lenses that I ordered were again Hubble lenses, but the contact lenses on my prescription that I uploaded to their website was specifically for Daily's Total One contact lenses. And there is nothing similar between those two companies. The Daily Total One contact lens and the Hubble lens do not have the same base curve. They do not have the same diameter. They're not the same seg height, not the same lens design, not the same lens material. The only thing that was similar between the two was the minus 550 power. And this is actually a big deal because in the United States, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, categorizes contact lenses as a class two or a class three medical device. And by changing out one contact lens brand for another is basically the same thing as your pharmacist switching out your high blood pressure medication for your birth control pills. They are not the same thing and there's potential for causing bodily harm. In fact, the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, explicitly says that an online contact lens company or a retailer cannot switch out one brand for another unless they are exactly the same lens material, just with a different name. And again, there is nothing similar between these two lenses. So Hubble, big shame on you. But this is not news to myself and other eye doctors. There are many online companies that do this and we know about it. It's just, I don't know if the FTC actually does anything. Anyhow, I put my order in, got my contact lenses a few days later in the mail, and then went ahead and tried them out. The day that I wore them in both eyes, 
My first impression putting them in was they were pretty comfortable, at least initially. When I first put them in, they, they felt good. They fe felt wettable, comfortable. I could see out of them, no big issues there. And after about four hours or so, they, they did feel a little bit dry. I mean, all contact lenses do tend to dry out and feel a little uncomfortable after so many hours. I went ahead and asked one of my doctors at my clinic to check on them to see how they looked on my eye. And here's a video quick of what it looked like on my eye. Now here's the lens on my right eye. On here, you can see the lens is overall still fitting well, it's covering my cornea. However, it is fitting a little bit tight and you can clearly see the optical zone on these lenses are pretty small. And that means if the lens moves too much, uh, the optical zone could go off of your pupil and then your vision could fluctuate with these lenses. In addition, these lenses also were drying out on the front surface pretty easily. Uh, even the doctor who was evaluating it, they were able to see that just as I blinked, the wettable surface just dried out instantaneously. The tears just kind of moved off to the side of the lens. And just to give you a comparison, here's another video of me wearing a newer contact lens from the Bosch & Lohm Infuse One Day line. These lenses are basically top tier right now uh, out on the market. They're one of the newest lenses there. Uh, fits pretty much flawlessly on the eye, has no problems with dryness, and you can't even see a center optical zone of these lenses, and they're the exact same powers. Now, the real big difference I had with the Hubble lenses I noticed in the evening. Coming around, wearing the lenses for about eight to 10 hours, about six o'clock at night, my eyes started to feel red, irritated, and they were just, they, they were sore. It was a unique feeling with contacts. I'm used to dryness with contacts, but I've never actually felt like pain, like a deep throbbing pain sensation with contacts before. But I went ahead and did the right thing. My eyes are not feeling well with contacts. I took them out. And typically after taking them out, switching back to glasses, the eyes start to feel a little bit better. But this didn't happen. In fact, my eyes continued to feel sore and painful for the rest of the evening till about 10 or 11 o'clock at night when I finally went to bed. And I think I know why this happened and it has to do with the lens technology itself. Now, Hubble contacts are a daily contact lens. These are one-time use lenses. So you wear them for one day, you throw them away, and then the next day you put in a fresh new pair. And uh, there's a lot of positive benefits to having daily lenses versus monthly or two-week lenses. In fact, I have a whole video on that. If you wanna learn more and you're not sure what the pros and cons are, uh, you can check out that video. I'll put it in the link description below. But the big thing with Hubble contact lenses is that the material it's made out of called Methafilcon A is an older material originating from the 1980s. And it has an oxygen transmissibility that in the eye care world we denote as DK over T. You've probably heard me mention this in other contact lens uh, review videos that I've done. But the DK over T for this particular lens is around the 18 to 19 range, which is well below the established standard for oxygen transmissibility in preventing hypoxia to the eye. You see, back in the 1980s, there were landmark studies that found that to prevent hypoxia and corneal swelling on the eye that could potentially lead to complications, damage to the eye, that the oxygen transmissibility measured at DK over T needed to be at least be 24 for just daily wear lenses. And they had to be much, much higher for people who were wearing lenses in an extended wear modality or they were sleeping in their contacts. And that's why so many lenses coming out today are all reaching a DK over T of usually at least about 100 or greater, but there still are many budget lenses out there with DKs over T of at least 24 or higher. So basically the reason my eyes were so painful were because I wasn't getting oxygen to my eye and my eyes were screaming meaning the corneas on my eye were likely swelling up, new blood vessels were trying to grow toward the eye, and there could have been potential for possible infection and other complications if I had continued to wear them. And that's unfortunately the risk for wearing these older technology for contact lenses. And that's also the reason why I don't know any single doctor that has ever prescribed Hubble lenses. Now let's just take a step back and let's say, hey, you can see out of these lenses, maybe for you they're comfortable, maybe even your doctor says that, they, that your eyes are just really tough as nails and you can handle that lower oxygen amount to your eye. Then let's look at the price. 
Again, it's $1 for at least your trial pairs lasting you two weeks. But then the price again goes up to about 39 US dollars every single month. If you multiply that out for a year supply for both eyes, it comes up to about $468 plus the $1 you spent for the trial, so $469 a year. Now for daily contact lenses, you may think, wow, that's actually a pretty good deal. However, when you compare it to other lenses that are more on the affordability line of the daily lenses on the market, you can get things like the Bosch & Lohm BioTrue One Day lenses, or you can get the Dailies Aqua Comfort Plus lenses, or you can get the Cooper Vision Clarity lenses, all which have a much higher DK over T than the Hubble lenses, and you can get them for much cheaper when buying your supply. Usually all those lenses you can get for about the 250 to 300 US dollar range, whether you're buying them online or if you're buying them from your local eye care provider. So really when it comes down to it, you think that you're getting a cheaper lens from Hubble that's more convenient, but in fact, you're overpaying for an older technology that's not anywhere near as comfortable or as healthy for the eye as other lenses. Now, before I even went ahead and ordered lenses, I heard from another eye doctor friend that they tried it and there was an issue with canceling their subscription. The problem is that I don't find their website to be very user friendly and there is no button or easy way to cancel your order. So if even if you do go ahead and get the $1 trial set, you go on their website to cancel it and you don't wanna get, pay $39 to keep getting them every month, their website has no way for you to cancel it. And I'm not the only one who had trouble with this. If you check out the Better Business Bureau's website, they have almost 500 listed complaints of people saying the exact same thing. In fact, the only way that I was able to stop paying for Hubble lenses was to go to my credit card company and cancel my credit card. I had to tell them that it was lost or stolen and to give me a whole new card just in order to stop paying them for lenses I didn't want. Now in hindsight, I was able to pull up their company policies and it does clearly state that in order to cancel your subscription with Hubble Contacts, you do either need to call them during their open business hours or if you live in the state of California, you can email them. But still, I think for the fact that their website makes it so easy to purchase the lenses, they could also make it just as easy to cancel your subscription. Now perhaps in the future, maybe after Hubble even sees this video, they'll kind of go back and start correcting all these different mistakes. Maybe they'll invest in having a better lens. I mean, if Hubble came out with a really good lens, such as something that compared to like the Dailies Total One or maybe the Bosch & Lohmann Fuse lens, uh, there's no way I'd be able to refute them for just making a really good lens. But th there's a lot of ground that they need to improve on. But please, if you have ever ordered from Hubble contact lenses, whether you like them or not, or if you've ordered online contact lenses from a different source, uh, good experiences, bad experiences, let us know just overall how things have been. Drop those comments in the section below. Hey, if you enjoyed today's video and you wanna learn more about contact lenses, finding the best ones for your eyes that are actually healthy for you, then go ahead and click or tap the screen up over here to the side. Or if you just wanna learn other cool things about the eyes in general, things like astigmatism, then go ahead and check out this video down over here. Thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you soon.